Hi everyone, Joe here, and I'm doing some live commentary of a six angle view of the totems fight during the King's Fall Raid. So I'm going to be trying to walk you through um, this chaos while having these guys up here so you can kind of see what everyone's doing and what each role is doing. We're going to have separate videos on the site for each role later explaining what each person is doing, but I figured let's do one with them all together and I'll kind of do some commentary. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that everyone's got a sniper and some heavy ammo for this section of the fight. It's going to help you out uh, greatly. Uh, by t for taking down those knights that spawn on the top and also taking down the wizards that spawn in the center. Um, we generally like to have titans on either side so that way you can pop a bubble whenever things get hot. Not necessary. As far as uh, subclasses and supers go, not extremely um, important. It would be nice if uh, you had a knight stalker that could shoot these acolytes in the beginning and sort of make some orbs for everyone. But like I said, not extremely important. Um, if you've got a coordinated fire team, you should be good with whatever class you're comfortable with. I would say what, run with whatever you're comfortable with because things are going to get pretty hairy um, very quickly. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we have everything numbered. So the first aura getters on either side are going to be one and two. The second aura getters are going to be three and four. And then the people that are staying in the center and then swapping out are going to be five and six. That means the left side is going to be all odd and the right side is going to be all even numbers. So... Uh, one and two should be are just coordinating right now. I'm pretty sure we're just saying, hey, are we ready to pick it up? Are we ready to go? Are we good? Uh, someone was changing their subclass. So we pick up the aura and then things start to get hairy. The first two guardians for both teams on either side should be running out to their platforms as they are doing here. Um, if they don't get out to that totem, everyone dies. The guardians on the bottom are just trying to kill all the ads that spawn out of the green door. They are doing okay at that during this run uh they should be a little more guarded but it's okay you're just trying to kill everyone uh a note for that side also too try to kill the adepts last those guys will aggro and then it'll get really ugly ugly for you really quick because all the other acolytes will start shooting crazy bombs they'll get raged so uh as you can see on the top part the first two guys their timer ran out and they handed off the aura to the second person and now the second person's shooting the knight that is uh, spawning up there on the top so three and four are now shooting that knight and one and two should be heading to the center to get rid of their Death Singer's power. Left side was a little late. Oh, good, still. So now both five and six have gone out to their respective platforms to wait for the aura while the first guys in the top are killing that wizard, which are on the right. I think I shoot some really bad sniper shots here on the right, number two. Um, and as soon as that Death Singer's power is out, they're going to swap for three and four because three and four need to go get rid of their Death Singer's power. So at this point, everything's running pretty smoothly. There are a couple more adds than I'd probably like. 5 and 6 are now holding the aura, whereas 1 and 2 are back at the platforms get waiting for the aura. Um, but other than that, everyone seems to be doing their job pretty well at this point. Um, I guess a thing to keep in mind is those wizards generally have um, solar shields, so you, if you have any solar special weapons, that'd be great. Now 5 and 6, they are waiting to take down the knight and then go to the center, which they are currently doing. Um, 1 and 2 are on their platforms and three and four are trying to get out to their platforms to get in that bubble that was a close one actually over there for number three so everything's running smoothly everyone's cool five and six are taking down the wizards um and pretty shortly you should find one and two getting off their platforms after they handed off the brand or the aura and getting the hell out of there so yep that's what they're doing taking down the knights yep swapping out so everything is running pretty smoothly here we're about at the halfway point generally i think it's about we're about three minutes in uh someone popped a bubble in the back there just to create some orbs and to uh, make things a little safer this this part of the fight gets a little harder because the knights that spawn out of the center door are uh yellow bar knights so they're a little tougher as you can see the uh, left side three and five are having a little trouble they had some ads rush them but someone ended up taking them out thankfully but that's something you want to avoid you want to make sure that if you're in the center you are shooting all the ads you can so that the people on the platform aren't getting rushed by people um because those ads will sprint to the platforms and that's not not cool it's not nice um here we are we're just passing the three minute mark now and like i said the enemies in the center are going to be significantly harder um so you want to make sure that you're concentrating on taking those guys out that's uh very important Anyone that gets to the platform is not going to be good. It's not going to be great for your team. So, yeah, things seem to be working fairly well. I, I guess the other thing that you can't hear, which kind of sucks, is us communicating. This whole time, uh, what you should be doing is you should be telling your teammates, hey, listen, I have the aura. 
hey, listen, I'm getting out to the platform. Hey, listen, uh, I have the aura and there's 10 seconds left, so make sure you get off the center platform and get over here, because if that doesn't happen, then we're all dead. Uh, seems to be working fairly well right now. Uh, the communication seems to be going okay, but want to stress that. And, and I think that goes for the entire raid. The entire raid, you should be communicating with your fire team at all times, letting them know where you're at, if you're under pressure, if you need help, if you're good, if, if you're asking if anyone else needs help. Uh, communication is key, and you really want to make that happen during the raid. So I think we're sort of approaching the end stages here. There are about two more turns left. The Sunbreaker Titan up there in the top is creating some orbs and just throwing hammers at everyone in sight. I would say this is probably your best use case for supers. If you're under pressure, pop it or get to the center, kill adds with them so that way you can make orbs for other people. And you can also see number three there, he's using his storm caller to just make sure that there's no adds that get out to the platform. You have some time. You don't have to necessarily rush right away to the center platform. It, it's helpful to, of course, but um, if you need to kill adds, do it because the adds are really going to mess you up and that's not, that's not good for anyone. All right, um, we're reaching, we're getting about close to the five minute mark, around the five minute mark. Um, and this thing should be over soon. The last guys, five and six, are activating their Death Singers. Someone activated a uh, Titan Bubble in the back there to keep people safe. And uh, things seem to be flowing well. Uh, some tips for if you're on the platforms. As you can see, on the left side there, the, the Acolytes are going to spawn basically out of the same door. So you can just annihilate them as they come out. Uh, the right side, I think the opposite side is a little different, but generally the Acolytes are going to come from the same area. So if both you and your partner that are out on the platform are aiming down at them, you're going to kill them quickly and you won't have anyone roaming around your room doing damage. I think this is the last turn, so as long as these first two guys survive and get, uh, get through it, it's going to be over. I think maybe there's one more, I'm not sure, but everything seems to be going fairly well here. This is on normal, but... Uh, if it was on hard, it would be exactly the same thing, except the enemies would just be harder. So um, that on the... Uh, yeah, there it is. It's over. So um, as you can see, you're just handing a baton off to another teammate. It's not necessarily that hard. It's just a matter of communication, timing, making sure you're, in, you're synced up with your teammates. And if you are, you should be fine. Everyone's checking out their gear. You should... This this chest uh, generally drops a ghost. If you can get the uh, if you're gonna get the ghost from the raid, it's gonna be during this chest. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we covered it all. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we have some other videos about this section and the entire raid using this number-based system, and you can check all of that out on DestinyDB.com. Thanks.